The situation continues to remain tense in the state's border town of Mori, with people taking to the streets earlier in the day to demand the handing over of the bodies of two Tamil youth shot dead in Myanmar's Tamu town yesterday. In the wake of the volatile situation, the Tenopal District Administration has imposed a Section 144 in Moray Town. Besides issuing an advisory to residents of Moray and all visitors to the area, not to venture into the Myanmar side without proper documents and permits from the concerned authorities. Angry protesters gathered near the border, resorting to arson, demanding the handing over of the bodies of the two Tamil youth. Protesters gathered near the border pillar 76 near Sunrise Ground in Moray to stage a massive demonstration and also resorted to stone pelting and arson. And in the wake of the situation, police commandos and SAM rifles personnel were rushed to the border area to bring things under control. Tight security arrangements have been put in place at the India-Myanmar border currently to ensure that there is no further escalation of the situation. And earlier in the morning today, a massive protest broke out in front of the Moray police station in Tengnopal over the killing of the two Tamil youth from Moray at Tamu in neighbouring Myanmar. Later in the day, the All Moray Auto Rickshaw Owners and Drivers Welfare Association along with locals took out a public rally in the border town. CSO leaders also submitted a memorandum to Manipur Chief Minister N. Biryan Singh through the local ADC. <laughs> So yes, viewers, the visuals you see on your screens do indeed speak for themselves. It talks of the kind of unrest and a volatile situation that is currently prevailing in the border town of Moray in Manipur, bordering, of course, in neighboring Myanmar, where two Tamil youths hailing from Moray were killed yesterday by militia of the Myanmar's army. And of course, a very tense situation clearly prevailing along the border area in the border town of Moray. And of course, the latest developments coming in at this point in time from Moray is that section 144 has been imposed in the entire town in view of the prevailing situation and of course so far there has been no word from the Myanmar authorities regarding when will the mortal remains the bodies of the deceased youth will be handed over back to the Indian authorities. And clearly the anger amongst the locals of Amore Town is evident on your screens, viewers. Angry protesters broke out into arson and even stone pelting today in a huge number of, uh, in a huge crowd, protesting in front of uh, the Amore police station, demanding that the bodies of the deceased youth be handed over back to them at the earliest. <laughs> And yes, of course, heavy security has been deployed in the entire area to try and bring things back under control. However, from what we have been given to understand, the situation is still not completely under control. A large number of people out, out there in the, in the Memorial Town, where, of course, a Section 144 has also been imposed just a short while back to try and bring things under control. 144 has been clamped in the border town of Amore.